Ashley, we got to talk about whiteboard again. again. We're back. We're video back. number two. We created a video not too long ago, or Ashley did, and we wanted to basically follow up on that with some comments that we got. Ashley, what was the first video about? So we reviewed some of the new release. Microsoft had released a whole, or announced actually, first of all, a lot of new features that they were making to their whiteboard application. And they mm -hmm. did a first release of a large amount of those features. So we wanted to go through, go through some of the pain points that we as a team and myself personally had with the old version of whiteboard, mm -hmm. check, what, check out what those looked like in the new version and see if they were any better. So we posted that saying, hey, look, you know, for, for a collaboration tool, Whiteboard has improved. It's gotten a bit better. And we got some comments on that video saying, hey, who moved my stuff? This thing is bad. We want to, um, we want... <laughs> We want the old version back. Yeah, so there, it seems there's a, there are quite a few features that you guys have mentioned that were either missed in the new release or not addressed or completely dropped. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I think from what we've learned, it's almost like Microsoft had an, an OK whiteboard app to start. Um, it feels a little bit like maybe it was a, a garage project or something that was built behind the scenes and not 100% integrated into the Office 365 suite, but now they're trying to integrate it more and bring some more features in and, and make it better. Yeah, but, and I also think 2020 happened and suddenly there's a lot of white, yeah. a lot of need for a whiteboard tool and there's a lot of other tools that can do a lot more things. Right. So Microsoft realized they need to really put a lot of um, effort into getting some of those features into their tool. So it's it kind of feels like if I were to summarize the changes, Microsoft, or at least those who have problems with the changes, Microsoft had an okay whiteboard, and then they added a bunch of collaboration tools or improved the collaboration tools and took out some of the whiteboard part of whiteboard, if that's an okay way to summarize it. Yeah, and we can show what that looks like, but. Um... Yeah, let's dig into some of the feedback that we got and show kind of what the, the, the some situation is. Some of the things that is. were missed, yeah. yeah. the number one complaint that we saw was talking about the eraser. And uh, I wanted to call out a specific comment because I think it's a good, good quote. We don't care about collaboration or sticky notes. We just want to be able to write and use an eraser. It's a novel concept for a, a whiteboard app, but if it's unclear as to what exactly we're talking about here, before you could draw well, let's throw on a, a video of a whiteboard here. You can draw, right? And then you can erase part of what you drew, whatever part of the line you want with an eraser. It'll always get rid of just that part. But now, Ashley, show what the new whiteboard does. Yep, so I'll show you if I just drew this line, I wanna erase this little part of it, the entire section of what I drew goes away. So yeah. you can't erase a portion of a drawing if you are using it as a plain whiteboard. And that does seem like uh, a necessary feature for a whiteboard tool. Right. So you can imagine we heard from some school teachers or tutors and things like that where they have a big screen that they're writing on and they have a very natural experience to just essentially be writing on a whiteboard like they would in class and they typically will have to erase part of what they drew, but suddenly one day they woke up to a new update to whiteboard and they can't just erase part of what they drew. So I could understand how that's frustrating. Yep. So the next complaint that we heard in the comments is that people were unable to attach documents to their whiteboard. Uh, we heard this a lot. So this mm -hmm. apparently is a very highly used feature in the old whiteboard. This one gets a little bit tricky because as you can see, I have this documents button right here um, on the new version on the left panel as far as like all the tools. So this might be something that is coming um, and it just wasn't released. We get previews of a lot of new features from Microsoft. So sometimes we can't necessarily decipher what the general public has or not. 
Um, so this is something that is coming, but either way for people to not have access to that button when they used to have access and then just one random day to be using the tool and unable to attach documents caused an issue. We have a question for those of you that don't have the documents insert in the menu. Do you have OneDrive? Because part of what this migration to the new tool is, is Microsoft's getting their ducks in a row and they're moving everything to their environment. And part of that is using OneDrive for storage for documents. So even if you're just using it locally, you're uploading a local document, it ends up going in your OneDrive. So mm -hmm. we're, we're guessing maybe one of the issues is if you don't have OneDrive, you can't upload a document. But yeah, hopefully it just comes later. That could be why it wasn't offered. So the next uh, feature that we heard about a lot is similar to documents. It's the, the ruler tool. So as you can see, now, I'll show you on my screen right now. Once I hit ruler, it says ruler is coming soon. Well, again, if you're someone who's using this tool frequently and is used to using the ruler for that to suddenly be gone and not available at all, and it's almost um, taunting you because you can see the little ruler, but you can't actually use it, uh, that can be frustrating for anyone who is used to being able to use it. Yeah, it's almost like those commercials where the guy's fishing and he's like, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Like the ruler is right there, you can click on it, but. <laughs> yeah, so I, it was same thing, We that is coming but it is an issue that it's not here right now and that was there before. And we don't, you know, we don't have a firm date, like this will be here in two weeks or anything like that. Uh, we don't know. So that kind of rolls into the there's next. A, there's one workaround though for ruler. That What's we talked that? About. If you're drawing and you have a keyboard, granted it doesn't work for people that are on a big, big oh, screen yeah. and don't have a keyboard handy, but if you hold shift, we'll show you can draw like. a straight line. You can draw a straight line. So just can't measure it though. Kind of a workaround for now. Okay, with all this said, we can understand the frustration. We also understand from a software development perspective that there's some challenges with rolling things out and there's never a super clean way, but we do have some suggestions both for Microsoft and for you guys um, as far as how to move forward, how to think about these changes going on and how best to move forward. So first is tips for Microsoft. Microsoft, if you're listening, don't launch it without full parity, especially if you don't wanna upset users, right? I get, you can't always not upset everyone, right? Yes. Someone's bound to get upset at some point. Yes. But it's a super bummer to wake up one day have a mission critical tool that does not do what you need it to do because of lack of parity. Yeah, so sure, there's there are new features released and so that could be considered exciting, but if it doesn't have some of the basic features of the original version, that does seem like a miss and a yeah. launch of a new tool. Yeah. And the other issue piggybacking to that is that users don't even have access to the old version. There's not an option. Um, if you wake up and there's a new version and it's missing the, the tools and features that you use in the original version, there should, at least for a period of time until those features are created, there should at least be an option to use the old version so that you can access those things and there's just not. So people are really out of luck if yeah. they're used to something. Which is odd because we've seen in a few tools that Microsoft releases where it's like, hey, you're using the new experience. It's this little switch and it's like, you can click here to switch back or something like that. And then they can go back to the old app. Yep. Right. But yeah, or even when they first released these whiteboard features, um, you could use the web version. It had all the new for new features, but the app version was still the old original whiteboard. So we kind of just assumed it would be that way until it was ready. And then they would release all those new features on the app as well. But instead what happened is it just kind of one day switched over to both the app, the web version and the app version were the new version, which didn't totally seem ready. So as far as actual solutions to this eraser problem goes, our designer uses an app that um, he, he shared the idea of, you know, this eraser that I use here has two different settings. One is erase everything, which can be really convenient. The full line. Yeah. yeah, just get rid of everything quickly versus you can flip a switch and then it only erases the things that the eraser touches. So 
Yeah. Be awesome just to be able to flip flop between that and um, at least have the option. Yeah, at least have the option. <laughs> All right, that's our tips for Microsoft. Uh, as far as for you watching out there as a consumer, um, like I said, we can understand the frustration behind who moved my cheese. This worked so great before. I don't want to use the new tool and uh, don't launch something that doesn't have everything that I need. So we wanted to offer a couple, couple thoughts and suggestions. So the first one is you can still download an old version of Whiteboard, the Windows app, and they're not necessarily from trusted websites and we're not gonna like send links to them or whatever, but you could go find it, you could download it, you could install it. Long term, it's not gonna be a good solution because like we said, Microsoft is trying to like get all their storage over to OneDrive and uh, change how they're integrating with the rest of their tools. And the old whiteboard might suddenly not work one day. And we don't want that to be even a worse problem where we're saying, hey, go use the old whiteboard, go find the old download, and suddenly you not actually be able to use it or store documents or, or things, things actually disappear there. So just be aware you can technically go do that still. Another option, unfortunately, is to just use a different tool. Um, the reality is there are a lot of really good whiteboard tools out there right now. And a simple Google search will show you like the top 10, uh, how what they integrate with. Most of them are free. So I would encourage everyone to find the tool that works best for their team. You might find something that you like better anyways. Um, you would be missing out on the integration. That's why I like whiteboard as it integrates with the other tools that I use here at work. But um, if it doesn't work for what you need to do, then an alternative would be necessary. Yep. A couple people were noting in the comments, they were trying OneNote. It sounded like they could draw just fine in OneNote and that kind of worked for the time being. Someone else said Adobe Fresco, but that doesn't have an unlimited canvas. But like Ashley said, there's a whole host of options out there. I'm sure you can Google whiteboard and find something that works in the interim and we'll keep our fingers crossed and uh, breaths held for yes. Microsoft to, to hear this and uh, hopefully get us a better eraser. Yeah. Documents. We do know there's a couple other big uh, updates in the wings for Whiteboard. You know, they've announced collaborative cursors, all kinds of tools uh, way back in the fall when they announced all these other things. And, we, and those still are on their backlog. I think there are some release dates in the summer. So we'll just stay tuned, keep watching. Uh, hopefully those features come back to us soon and we'll see what other new ones come out with them. So interested in any thoughts you have on this topic, leave a comment. Uh, if we didn't address anything, shout it out and we'll we'll be sure to share. And um, hey, if you want other videos like this, make sure to check out our channel, like, subscribe, do all those things. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.